Let's look at some simple camera moves. The first move will be a pullback. So let's create something to pull back from. We'll make some text. Let's make it a little bigger. There we go. One. Hit enter. V for the selection tool. Let's put it here. Let's make another piece of text, make it a 2, enter, V, text, 3, enter, V, and let's make a 4, hit command T, Four, enter, V, and there we go. Let's make let's make them all 3D by clicking this box below the cube. Do not click this cube and do not click this cube over here. This is the draft 3D button. If you click this button it enables you to work faster but it means you won't be able to see the effects of any of your lights so if you click this you will not be able to see the effects of your lights and if you can't see the effects of your life lights it's because you've clicked this moving right along let's make these layers 3d shift select them hit the cube box and there we go they are all now 3d you can see because they have the extra little blue arrow that you can't see right now because you're in the camera view. Just to make life a little easier, let's add one more piece of text. Click away, Command T, and click away again. Click over here, that's better. Call it Camera. Enter. Shrink it a bit. Move it over here. Now let's leave this one 2D. Let's make it a guide layer. Layer, guide layer. That means that it won't render when we make a movie. And let's just lock it. And now let's see why we did this. We want to see these in another view so that we can see the third dimension. So let's add another view here. In our view layout, and let's choose two views horizontal. Now, one of these is the camera view, the other one is not. Let's add a camera before we get too far. That would be layer, new, camera. Uh, let's try the 35 millimeter lens size for now. Let's just leave it called camera one. Hit OK, and there's the camera. Now this view here, let's just set it to, let's make sure we're in this view. Click. Now that says 50%. Let's make it uh, 33 and a third. That's good. Which view is that? It says custom view one. That's great. What do we have? There's the camera. Okay. Now just to give ourselves a better look at what's going on, let's click the unified camera tool. Now this tool defaults to what's called an orbit camera so that when you click and drag it turns into that tool and allows you to move the view around. This is not the view that will render. This is just so that you know what's going on in your composition. This is the view that will render. Okay? So if you the purpose of this tool here is that if you have a three button mouse you can very easily change from one one uh, tool to another if I hit the right button of my mouse it changes to the zoom in out tool which allows you to zoom in out that way which is different from the mouse wheel uh, looks like when you have that tool selected, that's how the mouse wheel works. Isn't that terrific? Learn something new every day. But if you have the selection tool selected, this is what the mouse wheel does. 
See, that's the thing about After Effects. There's uh, something hidden everywhere. Okay, let's select with C for Charlie. The camera tool, use the mouse wheel. Very nice, very useful. Okay. These are our letters. Let's move them all into a different position. So they're easier to see in this view. Let's click on the transparency grid. You see it's different for it's independent of the view. So if I click in this view and I I can kill the transparency grid there, and there you go. That's just for viewing. It doesn't affect the rendering at all. So let's move our letters. So number one, we need to hit V. There we go for a selection tool. Zoom in. See the little Z there? Grab it. Push the one far away. Take the two. Z. Push it not so far away. Three. Grab the Z. Pull it. And the four will move closer. You got to grab the Z. You got to see the Z there. Grab the little arrow. You see the Z. Push it a little closer. Okay. And let's move the three just a little off like that. And uh, up a bit. Grab the Y. Uh, let's just leave it about there. Okay. Now here's our camera. Right now our camera is set to the default, which is uh, it aims at its point of interest. And we can leave it like that for now. It's not a big deal. So let's pull the camera back. Zoom out a bit. Make sure you see the Z. As we pull the camera back, that's what we get. Now we like that, but we want to make it a pull back move. So let's go to the end of the composition, and that's where we'll end. So we'll set a keyframe for the camera's position. Hit P, and there we go. That's where it will end. Let's go to the beginning. Look for the Z. There it is. Push it forward and we see on the right how the composition is updating. That's what the camera view will be. A little more. There we go. Okay, now as you see, you've got two keyframes here. You've got the line that indicates that your camera has some motion. Let's hit C for the camera view again. Use the mouse wheel to just pull back a bit. With the camera tool selected, sorry, with the camera layer selected, as we scrub through the composition, we see what the camera sees on the right, and we see what the overall world sees on the left. That's the animation you're going to get.